Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video with Steven. I'm talking about a new release from the brand of the Regal Adore, Russian Oud 2. Here's the box. I unboxed it last night or yesterday morning but I've yet to spray it on. And I also purchased Ottoman Empire 4. Which I don't know why because I bought Ottoman Empire 3 when that was released and then I sold it. So it didn't really make sense to buy this but oh well. I'm going out now, so I'm not going to do first impressions of both of them, but I have the original Russian Oud here. Super limited, and with the value, with this being released, it's just knocked fucking $500 off the value of this bottle. Bugger. <laughs> I'm joking, I wouldn't sell that anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm really curious how this new one stacks up, because this was released in 2018, I think, so it's been five years. Maybe Adam's blending skills have improved and I'm just kind of curious how the fragrance has changed and if there's any differences. This is a good fragrance. I wouldn't say it's amazing. I really like it, but it's rather linear and straightforward. It's kind of not that oody to my nose, but it's very kind of gourmandish. A friend in work described this as a Mongolian yurt, which <laughs> made me laugh. If you look here, there's, it's so oily, it's actually like stained the bottle. And the annoying thing about this is it was way fuller, but I basically the cap is really shut. And I dropped the bottle, it ended up sort of falling on the cap. And when I pulled the cap off, it got really tight. And I pulled the cap off and I also pulled off the atomizer at the same time. And for about eight months, I just didn't, I just kind of wrapped some cello tape around there to the lid and a ton of it evaporated. I probably lost like half that bottle. Stupid. Right, enough fucking blabbering. What I will say is these new bottles are amazing. It's so heavy, the cap, and just, it looks really damn good. Really good. So yeah, I'm going, I'm going mountain biking soon and I'm just kind of fanning about in the house, so I need to get out. So a very quick first impressions. I'll give myself a couple of sprays of this for my bike ride. Whoa. Off that smell, just kind of in the air, they smell similar to the first one. I guess this video will be a kind of comparison of sorts. But yes, you definitely get this kind of sharpness at the start. There's a bit of like a metallic sort of, metallic sort of sharpness. And it's very sweet as well. The thing is as well, I don't really pick up chocolate in this, you know. This has a chocolate yield and it has cacao, but I'll be honest, I'm not really familiar with cacao by itself. I have drunk it, but I didn't really pay attention to the smell. And yeah. <laughs> yes, that is very very smooth. Instantly there's no kind of I don't know, just kind of very well blended. There's definite smoothness there where... Again, I'm not really picking up oud. There are notes in the back of here saying some diamask and ambergris, cacao and Indian oud, and resins and cedar. And yeah, I'd agree with resins. I mean, there's a... A depth to it which is very resinous. I couldn't exactly pinpoint which one it is and annoyingly I bought myself like a ton of essential oils recently so I just got so many essential oils. I bought some just to sort of familiarize myself with things like tolu balsam and nagarompha and things like that. Just things I probably won't encounter in where I live but I haven't actually spent time studying these notes to sort of familiarize myself with them. Opanax, things like that. I don't get musk as such, no ambergris, <laughs> and these are things I've smelled in isolation. So for example, I have here deer musk in sandalwood. You can see all the grains at the top. And this is ambergris in sandalwood. And I have some other, um, I have some other ambergris elsewhere. Like smelling this, I wouldn't say it's musky, for example. 
I might say it's a bit musty, as in not so dank. But imagine you open like an old chest, you know, there's a woodenness. An antique chest would be a good way to smell it. You know, there's a certain mustiness if you opened up like a wardrobe, but there's maybe clothes that have been hanging up inside, hasn't been opened in 50 years for whatever reason. There's a kind of mustiness there as opposed to musk. But yeah, it's very similar to the first one. It's hard to sort of pinpoint any kind of difference in quality of the ingredients. But what I will do now is give myself a few sprays of this. Well, actually, I'm going to go mountain biking, so I won't spray onto this jumper, onto this t-shirt, because I'll be getting changed. But I will wear this now. I'm going out for like three or four hours. You know, the wind is raining, it's windy. Hopefully then this will kind of carry the scent around me. Maybe not the best thing to do, because when I'm out biking, especially now because it's kind of rainy and there's like a lot of uh, mud and stuff like that, and then there's peaty and soily, and I'm through forests, and you just kind of get that natural outdoorsy smell, which I really do like. One of the best things about mountain biking is the smell to me. <laughs> so maybe, I don't want to spoil the scent, the, the atmosphere scent by wearing this, but I don't know. I will wear it though. Yeah, very good. And again, the presentation is fantastic, these bottles. You know, we could murder somebody with them. Always good to have on hand, right? Yeah, it just looks really cool. Right, so I've got loads of videos of film in the future. I keep saying this at the end of every every video. Watch now. I got all these samples here. I've got two, yeah, check this out. So essential oils. I've got an absolute shit ton of like oud wood. Even more oud, even more oud, and this only represents like a very small portion of my collection of oud wood. Here's some I chopped up just to sort of not know what it was and just burn it, so, you know, not knowing which regions the wood was from. And yet I still don't use these. It's stupid. So, yep, I will say goodbye and maybe I'll do a vid, can I even point this myself? I will do a video. Again, I need to do more videos, it's been ages. I've got bottles sitting there for like a year now. Absolutely insane. Right, peace out. See you soon.